Good evening. It's an absolute delight and honor to be here for this MAPIC Award uh, 2012. Thank you. Now, I've heard that you've been working very hard and having lots of meetings. How many meetings have you had? Can you put your hand up if you've had more than 50 meetings? Put your hand up. More than 50 meetings today? They haven't been working at all. More than 100 meetings? 200 meetings? I heard at least 300. You haven't been working at all. Maybe I'm becoming a little cynical. You know, I heard a story the other day from Oscar Wilde where one of his characters says, you're a cynic. And somebody else says, well, what's a cynic? And the character replies, a cynic is somebody who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. So please, let's not confuse value and price as we do with our customers. And let's enjoy this evening. We're here to celebrate. There's been lots of innovation and changes in our world, and we're here to celebrate that with our awards tonight. So I'm now going to call upon the president of the jury, who's going to explain what stood out for the jury in this year's awards, and also what the differences are between this year and last year's ceremony. So please, would you put your hands together and give a very warm welcome to the president of the jury, Mr. Frédéric Alloum, Director General Adjoint, Membre du Directoire, Altaria. Frédéric. Hi, Bruce. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Thank you all for coming here to Martinez tonight and for our Russian colleagues. Dobre vecher. Very good. Now, buddy, I have some questions uh, for you. Can you hear me? They're not, they're, there's nobody in the room. Can you hear, that? Can you hear me? I think you can hear me. Can you hear me better with this one? No, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Um, so I have a first question for you, Frederica. If you want all these good people in the room to walk away with one message from this evening's events, what would that message be? You know, Bruce, all over the world, consumer needs always to be surprised. That's why our retail real estate industry is reinventing every day by making shopping a real show. And show now is everywhere. On one side, you have developers and retailers who want to put their products and their consumers on stage. OK, thank you very much for that. Now, what were the key trends that you've identified in 2012? Now, this year for the MEPIC 2012, we noticed five key trends. The first one is the dynamism of the emerging market and uh, also from the Asian market in terms of new development. The second one is the importance of the leisure in the tenant mix of shopping mall. You know that leisure is becoming more and more a destination. The third one, Kitran, it's a multi-channel initiative from retailers to catch and to have more visibility to catch more customers. The fourth one, of the key trends this year, it's a real focus from developers and uh, from also retailers on the design with the sole aim to impress uh, the customers. And the last one, also we notice a constant evolution of the food sector, also in line with the consumer's behavior in terms of food. Fantastic, thank you for that overview. And perhaps, <laughs> please. Perhaps I could ask you very quickly for a description of this year's MAPIC Awards. Uh, this year, but maybe also every year, the same. We were really impressed by cities, developers, retailers, also about innovation, creativity, and dynamism in terms of development. This year, it's totally particular because we've got, we've got this year two times as many entries compared to last year and also a fantastic, fantastic international audience. We've got uh, entries from Russia, from United States, Santa Monica, from Turkey, from South Korea, for example, also uh, from Thailand, from Singapore, from France, from UK, and a lot of countries. I would like to thank you, 
Nathalie de Petro and also Christophe Chupot for everything you have done to enhance the international audience of MAPIC and MAPIC Awards. Bravo. Bruce, this year should be a real vintage year. I really hope so. But what would you say are the differences, Frédéric, between this year's awards and last year's awards? Mainly, we have two main differences this year. First of all, it's the voting process. This year, we have 100% of the voting process issued from the jury members. Last year, it was 50% from the jury and 50% also from the participant of MAPIC. And second also, to be just in line with the evolution of the retail and real estate uh, industry, we have introduced new categories, such as, for example, for the first time in MAPIC, the best multi-channel strategy. Okay, thank you very much. Now, I'm sure everybody in the room, room would like to know, can you tell us how the jury actually made their decision? As you can imagine, Bruce, with two time has uh, many entries this year, it becoming tough, tough comp competition. But uh, also, you have each jury member which has uh, his own uh, opinion. But finally, the expertise of the jury members has led to the best, best choice in each category. But Bruce, let's stop to <laughs> talking. Maybe let's start the show. Do you want to start the show? <laughs> then can you please, first of all, thank Mr. Frédéric Laloum. Thank you. Our first category uh, this evening is Best Fashion and Footwear Retail a Concept. There are three nominees for this, uh, Adidas Neo, Finsbury and Orchestra. And now to present the prize, would you please welcome up onto stage Delphine Doge and Yan Gwen. Delphine, who is Agency Director for Brand Image, and Yan Gwen, who is VP Mayland Real Estate. Come and face the audience, they don't bite. Not very much, anyway. Now, just before we ask you to hand over the prize and award the prize, we're going to watch a short video about each of the three nominees. So can we have the video, please? Adidas has created a strong, innovative and fresh retail store concept designed to target young consumers. Neo is for young teens who seek to live neither yesterday nor tomorrow, but in the present. It seeks to appeal to teens who are trying out new things, learning as they go, while finding the style that is closest to who they want to be. Neo is Adidas's new flagship fashion retail channel and has opened 10 stores in six months in some of Germany's most important retail landscapes. Finsbury is a specialist in high-end men's dress shoes, offering a very high level of manufacturing quality at a competitive price that makes them accessible to most customers. For the past 26 years, the brand has maintained a very traditional British look. The 1990s era images of an old oak tree and a green English Chesterfield were marks of the ultimate in gentleman's refinement, considered old-fashioned in the 21st century. Therefore, the brand has completely redefined its retail concept, aiming to modernise the brand for today's consumers. Baby Care by Orchestra is the largest childcare store in France, offering more than 10,000 items, including 200 different types of car seats and more than 230 pushchair models. As a major childcare store, it offers various brands and products, including many exclusive items. Baby Care by Orchestra displays its products over the course of a fun educational route through 10 departments. Priding itself on its dedication to service and advice, Baby Care by Orchestra also guarantees the best prices and access to all the benefits of Club Orchestra. Yes, I think you can applaud them. Some fantastic work there. Suspense. There's nothing in the envelope. <laughs> nothing inside, no. <laughs> and the winner is Adidas Neo. Bravo! Can you come up? Thank you. 
Okay, thank you very much. Perhaps just a few words. Um, how do you feel about winning this prize? Thank you very much. I feel very proud. And uh, it looks like Germany can win a trophy, not like we do in football. So that's, that's good. Um, no, thank you very much. Thanks a lot to the jury um, for the nominee and the award. Congratulations to the other nominees for great concepts as well. And um, I wish you a pleasant evening. Thank you. Okay, congratulations again to Adidas Neo. We're now going to move on to our next prize, which is, just one second. The best food and beverage retail concept. The best food and beverage retail concept. There are three nominees for this uh, category. Um, Kofia, uh, Exki in, uh, in Belgium, and also New Hamburgerology, which is a Portuguese company. So to present this prize, please will you welcome on stage now Mr. Alain Boutigny, who is editor-in-chief of Sites Commerciaux, and also Christophe Chupot, director of the real estate division Read Me Them. Gentlemen. Hello, Christophe. How are you? Fine. Fine, thank you. I asked a question. Uh, I was afraid yeah. you had, yes, tell me. <laughs> of course, tomorrow is the last day, of course. Yes. And how is the MAPIC 2012? Um, I think we are having a good MAPIC uh, growing with more than uh, 8,600 participants this year, so up uh, plus 6%. And more retailers, 2,400. 2,400. Yeah, and fresh new one, 400 new brands. That's a good achievement, yeah. Great, great. And um, speaking of new, what's really new at MAPIC? Well, year? just to be more precise about retailers, we have uh, new brands, and just to name a few of them, I, I will talk about uh, uh, W.H. Smith from, from the UK, uh, Tiffany Encore from the USA, uh, I have my name on my list. Tesco stores for the first time, UK also. Carmen Stephens from Brazil and Burr's Jewelers from Canada. You have to read because there is a lot. <laughs> it's just five out of Thank 400. You. Thank you very much, Christophe. Another new thing, I think you, you notice the emergence of the digital world in our business. So more presence of the digital business and uh, culture and leisure uh, inside the show. And last but not least, you remember Italy was country of honor last year. Well, this year you surely notice this is Russia, as this is the country which has opened the most, uh, the biggest number of uh, shopping centers recently, and has a, a big pipe of opening in the future. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Russia. So, of course, this uh, category is the best food and beverage retail concept. And to look at the nominees and what their offering is on the marketplace, we're going to look at a video. Can we have the video now, please? With 65 shops, including 27 franchises, coffee is well positioned within its market, which includes delicatessens and specialists in coffee, tea and chocolate. Over the past 40 years, Coffee has been a creator, importer and distributor with valuable expertise and mastery over all stages of the production line, from product design to selling as well as sourcing raw materials. Coffee has succeeded in overhauling its outlets and adapting its offering to evolving consumer trends. The result has been an innovative and more friendly customer experience. EXKI is a chain of quick and casual restaurants that offer fresh, healthy and natural fare. The restaurants maintain a welcoming environment and its employees are particularly attentive to customer service. EXKI's mission is to offer a great food experience to busy health-conscious customers by combining both speed and quality in offering its food product. EXKI has pioneered this innovative concept, bringing it to continental Europe, where it currently operates 61 restaurants located in Belgium, France, Italy, Luxembourg and the Netherlands. H3 brought innovation to the already mature fast food burger market. Serving pure meat fresh burgers eaten with a fork and a knife on heated plates with side dishes, H3 has raised the bar in terms of quality and service 
and has introduced the not-so-fast food concept. Now its next challenge is to become global. Okay, congratulations to all three nominees. Thank you, Aurore. We have the envelope. So who's going to open the envelope? Hello. So, Alain, the winner is... Exki. Exki, bravo. So, many congratulations to an exquisite Belgian company. Uh, we're now going to move on to our third award, which concerns the best high street real estate retail development. There are three nominees once again. The first is not actually a company, it's a city, Marseille. The second is uh, Ion Orchard on Orchard Road in Singapore. And of I think they must be here tonight. And then we also have Santa Monica Place as well. Now, in order to award uh, this prize, will you please welcome on stage uh, the managing partner of one of our sponsors for this category, uh, Comfort, uh, and also representing Centrum, please welcome Mr. Holger Vona. <laughs> So, Holger, we're first of all, uh, just like we did for the other nominees, we're going to have a little look at a video uh, to see what these uh, three contenders have done. So, can we have the video, please? The project consists in extending the city's heart to a new cultural, tourist and commercial centre, which will include the Terrasse du Port, Europe's first mall on the seafront, the Doc Marseille, former industrial building converted into offices and shops, the Voûte de la Major, a commercial complex located in a historic building, Rue de la République, a Hausmannian boulevard managed as an open-air commercial centre, the Centre Bourse, a shopping centre located in the city centre, completely renovated, modernised and reopened. Ion Orchard has fast become a retail icon in Singapore, breaking the retail mould and setting new benchmarks for the industry. It has established an underground network connecting nearby buildings and was recognised as an international multi-award winning architecture icon by transforming the face of Orchard Road. Ion Orchard is the first mall to allow tenants to customise their facades and has launched a variety of new-to-market brands. Ion was selected by the Singapore government as one of only four service icons in the country. Santa Monica Place transcends conventional wisdom about the adaptive reuse of retail, creating a new paradigm in mall revitalization and a model for transforming urban retail centers across the United States. Located on four hectares, two blocks from the ocean and the historic Santa Monica Pier, the project maximizes the site's potential with an open-air footprint that connects on all four sides with the surrounding community, extends a famous Third Street promenade and delivers urban experiences within 58,600 meters squared of new retail leisure and open space concepts. Fantastic. I think that deserves a big round of applause. Congratulations to all three nominees. So can we have oh, the envelope, please? Uh, we need some glasses for this. Uh, very important. And the winner is United States of America, Santa Monica Place. Sorry Bravo. for my say. Gentlemen.
Many congratulations uh, to all three, and especially to Marseille down here, who I think deserve that uh, big round of applause as well, and also, also to the others as well. Now, we're going to move on to our uh, fourth category, and this is for the best retail and leisure development. There are three nominees for this category. There's the Akbati uh, Mall in Turkey, the Hyundai Department Store in Daegu, South Korea, and also the Morocco Mall with its famous <laughs> Giant Aquarium. No, no, no applause for the Giant Aquarium. Okay. And to give this award, would you please welcome on stage Monsieur, Mr., I should say perhaps, Jacques Zinker, who is Director of International Retail at Mad Development Group. Jacques. Hell no place to go. Goedenavond. Goedenavond. Ja, we praten yeah. uh, Nederlands. Huh? No, okay. I'm not, we're not going to impose that upon you. We're going to have a look at something much more interesting, which is the video for the best retail and leisure development. So can we now have the video, please? The Akbati Mall is one of Istanbul's largest shopping malls, one whose unique architecture sets it apart. The four-storey centre has a net area of 65,400 metres squared, with nearly 200 stores, nine movie theatres, uniquely designed relaxation and socialising areas, recreational and children's educational areas, a 3,000-car garage and a restaurants avenue where customers can enjoy fine world cuisines. Akbati features a 5,000-seat festival park, which serves residents through regular concerts and festivals and is easily accessible. With its 56,000 metres squared, the 11-storey Hyundai department is the largest department store for both the brand and the southeast region of the country. The record profits over the first week were due to the store's distinctive architecture and interiors that broadened the brand's appeal for a younger audience, adding cooking school and classroom facilities, a rooftop park, a 600-seat auditorium, an art gallery and an entire floor of dining options has made the store the newest and most innovative retailtainment venue in the city. Morocco Mall, which borders the Atlantic Ocean on the Casablanca Corniche coast, is the first and only destination mall in the Mediterranean and Africa. It stretches over 10 hectares with over 70,000 meters squared of commercial space over three levels and 350 stores. Ranked in the top five in its class worldwide, Morocco Mall is a project of international dimension, boasting the third largest musical fountain in the world, a giant aquarium, and the largest in-store shop facade in the world, as certified by Guinness World Records. Fantastic. I think that deserves a round of applause. Oh, louder than that. Come on, there's some good work down there. Some fantastic work. Thank you. The magic envelope. So, Jack. The winner is Morocco Mall. Yay! Just one second, one second, Roger. A few, maybe a few words for the camera. Now, um, tell me, um, are you happy? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is happiness? This is the true pursuit of that world. I'm really happy. Yeah, really proud. Lots of people work on this project. And um, here's a conclusion of uh, another university degree. Took five years. Um, very, very proud. Uh, great country, great people. Um, the uh, Casablanca friends have uh, chosen this as their favorite destination for the weekends. We counted more than 20 million visitors in the first 10 months. The forecast was 14 million for the first year. So I guess this uh, tells you a lot about the story of Morocco Mall. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations. <laughs> so
So we have seen four of our awards tonight, but something tells me you're getting a little bit restless. And you might need something to eat. Are you hungry? I couldn't hear. Are you hungry? Okay, then we're going to take a break now, and we'll have uh, the dinner, and we'll come back for the remaining three awards and the personality of the year just before the dessert. Please enjoy your meal. Thank you. The minutes of work in the joy. I could see you were a man of distinction. Would you like to have fun, fun, fun? Has a bad feel. Lot, lot. I could show you a good time. Let me show you a good time. The minutes of work in the joy. I could see you were a man of distinction. Hurry, big spender. for every man I see. Hey, big spender. Hey, big spender. Hey, big spender. Spend all the time with me. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue with our awards now. If I can have your attention, please. If I can just have your attention now, please. Thank you very much. We're going to continue with our awards. And our fifth award this evening is for the most innovative shopping center. There are three nominees for this category. The first is La Tolle in France. Please. The second is the Style Outlets in Roppenheim. I think they're here tonight. I'm not sure. And the third is the Star Vista in Singapore. To present this prize, we have two people. Would you please 
Put your hands together and welcome Mr. Klaus Sliebig, who is Managing Director of Leasing for the ECE Project Management, and also Mr. Ennis Onkwuglu, who is Managing Director and Architect at Onkwuglu and ACP. Gentlemen. Now, before we start, I have an important question for you, Ennis, first of all. Did I pronounce your name correctly? A bit. Can you give me the correct pronunciation? Ennis Unjol. 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 Good, thank you. Now that everybody can do it. Unjol, can you practice that, please? Can you all say Unjol? One, two, three. Now you're famous. Yes. Now you're famous. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. So we're going to have a look at the most innovative shopping center. And in order to illustrate this, we have, as usual, a video. Can we have the video, please? La Tolle is a 91,000 meter square retail park with a unique and visionary architecture, an open air pedestrian promenade, new services for customers with an innovative fidelity program and free electric shuttles to provide a one-stop shopping place. La Tolle has a new source of pride and a sense of belonging for local visitors, as well as those coming from far away. Within the first month of its opening, La Tolle welcomed more than 1.2 million visitors. Roppenheim The Style Outlets comprises 111 shops and restaurants on a surface of 27,280 meters squared. It provides 1,700 car park spaces, has 50,000 meters squared of green areas and is surrounded by two lakes. It has been created and designed as a new generation of outlet, setting a brand new way to interact with customers in the shopping center. Interactive and innovative communication tools are fully integrated in the design as well as in the strategy and asset management of the center. The Star Vista is part of a 15-story integrated development located in the Vista Exchange. The hub within the larger One North Business Park development area in Singapore comprises a retail and entertainment zone known as the Star Vista, as well as a civic and cultural zone known as the Star Performing Arts Centre, which includes a 5,000-seat state-of-the-art auditorium. Strategically located, the Star Vista is an urban dining and shopping sanctuary set within a uniquely open and natural environment. Congratulations to all three. Well done. So can we have the envelope, please? Ennis is going to open the envelope. And Klaus? The winner is the Star Vista. Bravo! Fantastic, and maybe just a quick word. Are you surprised at this award? I'm um, pleasantly surprised. Uh, this was four years in the making, and I uh, just want to thank uh, the judges for choosing us, and uh, all our colleagues in Singapore who worked long and hard on this project, uh, working towards perfection each time, and uh, also to thank our bosses for the vision and the daring to take on this project and the faith that they had in us to deliver it. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Many congratulations. We're going to move on now to our sixth category, which is Best Retail Global Expansion. There are three nominees for this category. The Coldstone Creamery, are you here? Debenhams from the UK, thank you, and also List from Italy. I think they're here tonight as well. So this award tonight is sponsored by Godiva, and incidentally, if you like Godiva, and I'm sure everybody does, 
you will find a sample of their products in the Akaju room with your coffee and dessert afterwards. So uh, make sure you take a, a full advantage of that. And in order to present this award, would you therefore please welcome on stage the general manager and director of retail at Godiva, Mr. Guillaume de Foucault. So in order once again to have a look at the nominees for this, we're going to look at a short video. Can we have the video please? Coldstone began its international expansion in 2005 with its first store in Japan. Since then, it has expanded into 23 countries and has opened over 1,600 stores worldwide, including over 400 stores outside the United States. In 2007, Coldstone became part of Kahala, one of the fastest growing franchising companies in the world, and since then, it continues to expand into multiple new markets and was recently ranked the 16th top US brand to expand internationally. Debenhams is a leading international multi-channel brand trading out of 240 stores across 28 countries. Debenhams gives its customers around the world a unique, differentiated and exclusive mix of own brands, international brands and concessions. In the UK, Debenhams has a top 4 market share in women's wear and men's wear and a top 10 share in children's wear. Current designers include Jeff Banks, Jasper Conran, Henry Holland, Betty Jackson, Ben DeLisi, Julian McDonald, Jenny Packham, John Rocher and Matthew Williamson. Founded in Rome in 1991, the Italian trendy fashion brand trades in 25 markets today, nearly always with exclusive franchise partners. With 57 stores, of which 29 are outside Italy, List expects to double the number of its international stores within the next two years. After firmly establishing its presence in the Middle East, List has opened its first stores in Central and Eastern Europe and in the Caucasus, and launched its Southeast Asia flagship in Singapore. I think that deserves a big round of applause. Well done to the three nominees. So here we have the famous envelope. And the winner is... Wow. Debenhams. Welcome, Debenhams. So perhaps just a quick word, are you surprised by this? Slightly, yes, I expect it. But no, thank you for the, imp oh, sorry. Thank you for the impeccable uh, taste of the judges. I think it was the right decision. Uh, no, I mean, it's, uh, it's been a 15 year journey to where we are now. It's been a, it's been a roller coaster ride, but you know, we really now are, are on the full track to, uh, to getting across the globe. You know, we've, we've got uh, 70 stores now currently and I've been told I need to get 150 in the next five years. So anyone out there that wants to uh, talk about their countries, if, we haven't, if we're not already there, then give me a shout. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we've come now to um, our final award. We also have, of course, the personality of the year. But for the final award is the, the new award that Frédéric Laloum spoke about earlier, the best multi-channel strategy, the best multi-channel strategy. And in order to present this award, would you welcome back onto stage, Mr. Frédéric Laloum. Frédéric. So there are three nominees in this category. Fnac, as you know, uh, perhaps from France. McDonald's, I'm not sure you've heard of them. And Sephora, uh, as I'm sure you know as well, a, a luxury retail for cosmetics and, and makeup. We're going to look at this in a video. So can we please have the video now on screen? Thank you. The 
Act 2015 strategic plan develops a very intense and effective multi-channel strategy through which FNAC aims to offer customers high-end services. Thanks to its new store concept, FNAC is strengthening the connection between its physical stores and its online channels through self-service interactive terminals, equipped sales representatives with iPod Touch and so on. FNAC has also launched a range of mobile devices such as the latest generation of the FNAC.com app. Ticket Live for ticketing, Pobo by Fanat for e-reading and the loyalty program application. The Go and McDo service is available on the web as a mobile app enabling French customers to locate a nearby restaurant, be informed of products that can be ordered, place an order online. With this new app, anyone is free to place an order anytime, anywhere, thus avoiding long lines. Nine months after the launch, already 5% of McDonald's restaurants are able to deliver the Go McDo service. This number is expected to increase to 100% by the end of 2013. Sephora's website offers the most targeted product search in the beauty industry, including powerful search tools, new mobile website, iPhone and iPad apps. Clients can place an order in half the clicks, half the time, and are now able to check in store product availability. Sephora is also implementing iPod Touch devices in every store to help clients find Sephora products faster and speed up the checkout process through mobile checkouts. Sephora is reinventing retail with a new approach to online and in-store shopping. Many congratulations to all three. A round of applause, please. The envelope, please, au revoir. Thank you. that it was empty <laughs> and for this first best multi-channel strategy the winner is McDonald. McDonald's welcome Many congratulations to McDonald's. Uh, I was going to ask for a quick word or commentary, but they were very fast. So um, I think that's the motto of the house. No, thank, thank you very much. Uh, we are very proud to, um, to, uh, to get this award, this first, first award. Uh, it has been a very long journey for us, two years of work to launch this project, and it's uh, coming live now since uh, six months. It's already in 50 stores. And if you don't have it, download the apps as quick as you can and try it. You have uh, several stores in Nice, uh, close to the airport, that you can try the apps if you want to. Forgive me, but there's one in Cannes as well, I think. <laughs> there is one, but he's not delivering the service yet. Uh, he, will, he will in the next two months. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed, and many congratulations. So we've concluded the awards part of the evening tonight, but, but there is one more special award, and that goes to the personality of the year. In order to present this very special award, would you please welcome onto stage Nathalie Depetro, who is director of uh, MAPIC, and also Sarkis Karapetania, the son of Samuel. Good evening, everyone. Dobry vietchen. Thank you so much, Sarkis, for joining us tonight. Thank you. It's an honor for us to have you tonight. And I suggest that we look at the video of Tashir. Video. <laughs> Under his leadership, the Tashir Group made its mark in the Russian real estate market. By the end of 2012, the Tashir Group will have delivered nearly 2 million square meters of buildings with nearly 50% of its property portfolio located in Moscow. The group has built its success by combining a number of different business lines and skills into the real estate value chain, ranging from supplying materials to brokerage firms, all integrated into a complementary mix of activities. As part of MAPIC's Russia Country of Honor program, the personality of the year is Samuel Sarkisevich Karapetyan. Oh. 
So Sarkis, correct me if I'm wrong, but Tasha Group was created in 1999. And after 12 years now, your company has built up almost 2 million square meters of shopping mall developments. So this is a tremendous number. So would you be kind enough to tell us your secret for such a success story? So first of all, I'd like to say hello, everybody. One of the keys of our success is that Tashir is developing mostly at its own cost. We use low leverage. We use low leverage, which is, uh, which is one of the reasons why the recent world economic crisis uh, didn't affect us that strongly and it even opened the market for us. It op opened more opportunities for us uh, for further growth. Yet another um, key for, um, yet another key um, of our success is that uh, our business is fully diversified and um, uh, our company has this uh, vertical integrated structure. Yeah. Thank you so much. And does your father want to uh, dedicate or share this award with someone in particular? Yeah, on behalf of Samvel Karpitian, my father, and all the members of Tashir Group, I'd like to thank all the organizers of MAPIC, especially you, Natalie, for this great honor, which is thoroughly deserved because of, of our hard work during the years. Of course, such result couldn't be achieved without all our partners, our competitors, and our team. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I invite, can I invite all the winners to come and join me back on stage, please? And also all the members of the jury, if you'd like to come, members of the jury, please come and join us on stage. at what I do best, and for this gift I do feel blessed, and our little group has always been, and always will, until the end, hello, 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 how low. I think we can applaud them all once again. Thank you very much. Many congratulations to all the winners and thank you very much indeed again to the jury for all of that. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the MAPIC Awards for 2012. So can I just one or two little announcements? First of all, Dessert, coffee, and Godiva chocolates will be available in Akaju 1. So please make your way over there for that.
There will then be, if we clear this room quickly, we're going to set up a discotheque in this room, which will start at 11 o'clock. Alors, un petit mot en français. Euh, donc, le dessert et le café, aussi bien que des chocolats Godiva, vont être euh, disponibles dans la salle Acajou 1, qui est juste à la sortie de cette salle. Il faut euh, dégager un petit peu cette, euh, cette salle parce que euh, on va installer une discothèque qui va débuter à 23 h avec la ravissante Aurore aussi. Donc, venez nombreux. Et moi, je vous dis pour l'instant merci à tous. I'll say thank you to all, and I hope to see you all again soon. À bientôt. Au revoir.